You know, some people, the child is sick, they say, don't worry, if you still got this cough after one week, then we'll go to the doctor. By that time, the child might be half dead, you don't even know what happened. Mashallah, you, you are living in a country where medical uh, attention is very easily accessible. There are some countries where it's so difficult. Wallah, it's your duty. Your health of your child is so important, my beloved fathers and mothers. Take it seriously. Now, th there is the other extreme where something small happens and you quickly rush to the doctor. That's another extreme because every day you'll be at the hospital. Believe me. You know, the child will grow up in the hospital. You know? Amazing. I know of one case where we visited the doctor and we were sitting there and we had an issue and, and, and someone comes in uh, with the child and there was nothing looking, you know, nothing... There was, it was not looking like anything wrong with the child. And I asked uh, this uh, man who was there, you know, Salamat, you know, I, I hope everything's okay. You know, Allah grant shifa. So, yeah, you see this, his eye is a bit swollen. I said, okay, his eye is swollen. What happened? And I could see absolutely nothing. Nothing. And subhanallah, a little while later, I see perhaps there was a slight pink eye. I said, did something happen? No. No, we were just looking at the eyes, looking at the eyes. And my wife told me, no, this eye is a bit swollen. And I'm saying, no. But she looked at it, she said, no, it's swollen. And I said, what do you mean? She says, no, then... She said, just take him to the doctor to check, to make sure. I said, subhanallah, you're looking at things. Obviously, I let them be because sometimes people have this nature. But I felt that that was a bit of exaggeration. You know, sometimes you, there's nothing wrong. You know, if I tell you there's a line, we did it with one of our teachers once when I was at high school. I've given this example before. Perhaps, uh, you know, you'll enjoy it. Perhaps some of you might know it. We had a teacher and she used to teach us maths. And she was so, so, so strict and so much work within that little time that was slotted to her. So we decided, we were learning, you know, biology and science and so on. And we were learning about how people think and we said, no, let's try it on her. So early in the morning, we had so many, about 30 of us, but planted in different places throughout the, the school where she would be walking. And as soon as she came to the school, you know, we would go, morning ma'am. Uh, can I help you with your books? You know, because she has some books in her hand and so on. Morning, ma'am, can I help you with your books? She says, yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, is there something wrong? You're not looking so well. No, I'm fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with me. Wow. Okay, ma'am, but I just, we were just thinking maybe perhaps you're not looking too well. And then she walked a little bit and the one guy was carrying her books and there was another person planted by the stairs. And as she got to the stairs, someone says, you know, we stand up. That was the discipline at the school I went to. You stand up and you greet. Morning, ma'am. Are you okay, ma'am? You're not looking too well. No, I'm fine, you know. And guess what? By the time she got all the way to her classroom, and this is a true story, we pranked it. As she got to the classroom and she says, she entered the classroom. There must have been about 20 people who told her how sick she was looking that day. When she got to the classroom, she says, Morning, boys. I'm not feeling too well today. <laughs> I, I, you, you can have a free lesson. I think I just need to, you know. And I swear it worked. And the reason why I say this is because psychologically, everyone is saying you're looking sick. So then you definitely start, yeah, yeah, I'm looking sick, I'm sick. Okay, I'm sick. And this is, this is just an example I'm giving that sometimes out of something, out of nothing, we make something. Remember that with your children, take things seriously, but you don't have to over-exaggerate. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us.